Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I first put this one up in July 2018, and it got about 36 views, so I thought I'd try it again, because it is a nice triumph trick, very easy to do triumph trick, which majority of you have probably seen before. For those that haven't, this will be it. Some of the handling might be a bit different. Um, because it's hard to do on camera, you can't get the misdirection, especially on camera, especially with the camera this close. I'm going to do a tutorial first and then I'll give you a little performance afterwards, but I'll go through a couple of different things on the tutorial. Right, the packet can be shuffled by your spectator. All nice and fair, borrowed deck, nothing dodgy with any cards. Pack has been shuffled. Spectator picks any card that they want. Completely free choice, no force. They look at the card, the Ace of Spades. You grab the packet, ready to do like a top, a one-handed palm, where you just use your little finger to pop the card up into your hand. But you're not going to be doing a palm. For those who don't like palming, big plus for you. They're looking at it. You'll just pull your hand away while they're looking at it. And you'll just get that card primed ready just to the side. And as you bring your hand around, you'll just be flipping it so it goes down into that position at the bottom of the packet, hidden by your hand. As you put your hand into this pocket, saying, I've got a pen, but it's not in that pocket. Then you'll just come across, put that card into your hand, and drop the packet onto the top, and then go into your other pocket, and you pull out the pen. And you get them to sign the name across it. And while they're signing, You'll just whip the packet into this hand, turn it so that the edge is facing them. They finish, writing their name. You say, right, I'll take my pen back, swap the packet to the other hand, put the pen back in the same pocket it came out of. So you're set there for doing the trick again, which is great. And what you've done is turn the packet upside down. So the only face down card is that one. Then you get them to push their card in anywhere that they want to, into the packet, facing down. Right? Don't riffle the packet because they'll see facing up cards. They've just got to push it in some way. And that goes in square. You then do a magic gesture, a push through your hand. right? And doing that causes something amazing to happen. Go, You can go through the packet individually like that. La da 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 to show that they're up and then there's one there. But you can't show the bottom card. Because the bottom card's facing up. So you need to leave a couple of cards in your hand. Doing it that way. They get that out. And while they're being amazed. Looking at each other. And laughing and looking at the card. You then just quickly do a little half pass on the bottom card. To turn it the right way. Or you get a pinky break on it. Pull it down into your hand. Pull it forward. And just flip the packet over onto it. And the deck can be given out and examined. Right. Now. If you don't want to do that move to get the card to the bottom, you can start with that card on the bottom facing up. You can, but your spectator cannot shuffle the packet. You can shuffle it as long as you make sure you retain that card on the bottom like so. If you don't want to do that, you can, as it starts, they just um, just before you give the packet to them to shuffle, You'll just palm the card off in your hand. They'll shuffle the packet. You'll get the packet back and you'll just load that card back to the bottom. You can have that card in your pocket. Or have one card in your pocket. They shuffle the packet. They pick a card. You go, hang on, I've got a pen. You put your hand into that pocket. You pull out the card. You put it, to, making sure it's coming out facing away from your hand put it to the bottom as you then go into that pocket and pull out your pen for them to squiggle squiggle and then you do the exact same thing while they're squiggle squiggling you grab hold of the packet there let them see the edge when you're getting your pen back you just grab it casually pen away car goes in job's done that's the only facing down one you can if you don't want to do that just do a cardini get them to pick a card while they're looking at the card, and you're going to your, you go into your pocket, just do a little cardini, oh sorry, 
on that wrong way, didn't I? Um, if you want to be doing a cardini, I'd need that in that pocket. I would, because I do the cardini with the other hand. So what you do is you go into that pocket, no pen, come out, and as your hand gets there, you're just doing a cardini as you're swapping the packet over. As you bring that out, you square up and you grab the cards and they see the edge. And then when you get your pen back, you turn the packet over and you've done the same thing. So there we go. Quite a few ways of getting through it. Right, now I did say I'd do a little performance, but excuse me because I cannot misdirect the camera. Yeah, do the favour first. Shuffle this packet up like a good, true magician. And that was like a good, true magician. You actually shuffled the Ace of Spades out of the deck. I couldn't do that if I was paid to do it, I'm telling you. But how that happened then, I don't know. Just a minor little miracle, I suppose. Right, anyway, shut up. Give us the packet back and I'll choose one. So you want that one there. Right, what card have you gone and chosen? You gone and chosen the Seven of Hearts. I'll tell you what, I've got a pen, not in that pocket. I've got a pen in that pocket. Do you want to just write your name across the front of that, nice and big? Or draw funny faces on it, or whatever you want to put on it, just as long as you remember that, that is your card once you have finished. Thank you very much. You're finished, okay. Give us the pen back. I'll put that away because you're not robbing it. Right, do you want to shove your card in any way you want to? And you want to shove it in about there. Okay, now just a magic click over the top and a little push through the hand like that. All I've got to do is, um, yeah, give another magic a little click. And if I spread the cards out, we will see that there's only one card right in the middle, which would have had your name on if you actually had the guts to write it. It would have had your name on. Yeah, I'm not ruining a bloody good deck for one little trick. No, and there we go. Very easy, very quick, very simple. No doubt seen before. Triumph trick. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. If you still want to be in on the draw, don't forget to comment on this video and whatever other ones I decide to put up. Um, I'll see you again soon.